No. Well, that's great, Vinny. You want to say anything to, to Vinny Craig now that you're non-muted? I, I already got our pleasantries out of the way. Happy birthday, Vinny. <laughs> you sure did. Thanks, Craig. Our pleasantries, yeah. so to speak. Let's go, Vinny. Let's talk about this Rampage show. So I got home from my steak dinner. I sat down and watched Rampage, AEW Rampage, October 8th, 2021. Actually, I watched this on Saturday, but whatever. So usually they do the gimmick where Mark Henry, and they still do it, but Mark Henry interviews the main event participants right before the main event. But they figured out the big match on Rampage is the opener. So now they have him doing the opener as well. So the first thing we see is Mark Henry interviewing CM Punk and Daniel Garcia in anticipation of their opening match. And his first question to Garcia begins, you attacked CM Punk in Chicago. In Chicago. It's a gassed. So 2.0 is there to do most of Garcia's talking. They say Punk is a phony. Took, seven years ago, he took his ball and went home. He quit because the world stopped revolving around him. And Garcia is going to put an end to Punk's return tonight. And Garcia says something about being a 23-year-old version of CM Punk. And Punk said, when I was 23, I wouldn't be hanging out with the nasty boys, little brothers. You try to end me in Chicago, I'm going to beat you tonight in Philadelphia. You know, they've got this, this uh, graphic that they had for the CM Punk versus Daniel Garcia match. And it is, it is somewhat uncanny how similar their physiques are from the neck down. And it helps that they're wearing the exact same trunks, although Daniel Garcia does not have the random 80s uh, stars on them. Well, uh, but uh, not random, Brian. It's the uh, Chicago flag. I see, I see, I see. Well, and they were usually random in the 80s. That's true. I don't think all of those wrestlers with stars on their ass were from, from Chicago. Honestly, none that I can think yes. of. Yes, yeah. but anyway, they have the same uh, trunks yeah. and uh, the, same, the same physique, the same legs. I mean, I'm, I'm not kidding. If you if you look up the graphic they had for CM Punk versus Daniel Garcia, it's it's actually uncanny how uh, similar they are to each other. But yeah, I'm fine with two two of these Mark Henry gimmicks during the yes, show. But I don't think they should overdo it. Only once in a while they should do it twice. But as Henry notes here, we've had enough talk. Let's go straight to the ring because you can't say it's time for the opener. Doesn't have the same ring as this time for the main event. Well, I cannot believe what I'm about to say, but your biggest fan, Vinny, mm. who is who is I'm now the biggest fan of, has has donated fifty dollars. Wow! Happy birthday to the most inspirational person in the figure four empire. And let me start over again. He didn't pay for the spell check. Mm. Happy birthday to the most inspirational person on the figure four empire. My greatest inspiration for to be a great human being. The reason that Brian has a successful show and the greatest professional wrestler to graduate from Bothell High School. I wonder if he works in takeout. He's in law enforcement, actually. Greatest inspiration for to be a great human. That's like when I go and they say, do you want it for here or for to go? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's not law enforcement. He's in like uh, he was in psychiatry. Cor- he was in corrections, yeah. and now he's. Uh, I don't know if he's. Curry head. What are you in right now? You can say it. Yeah. Well, he's gonna. He's gonna. It, it might take him a while to type it out. It might. It might. Yeah. So Think, CM Punk and Daniel Garcia. Ed was doing the spell check. Go ahead. Fair. Fair. Mm-hmm. Punk is wearing as as Jericho called him the long boys again. I hadn't heard that. I heard long tights yeah. or tights. I guess this is the lingo in the backstage. Long boys. Everybody was uh, everybody was pleased that he got out of the long boys, and yes. then he just brought him back. It's it's much, he looks much better in trunks. So we got a grappling match. We got a pure wrestling match, straight out of Ring of Honor here on uh, Rampage. There's even a rope break for those of you who are into that kind of thing. And <laughs> there's a point because because Punk is still bigger than Garcia, so he's man handles him up, hits a big body slam or two. And Taz and Chris Jericho, the veteran commentators, the veteran wrestlers on commentary, I should say, they go into the, the virtues of a good old body slam and how much it hurts, how effective a weapon that can be. I love this stuff. I eat a lot. You know what's funny about that, too? And by the way, it's noted here that uh, Punk is the one that uh, refers to them as the long boys. There you go, then. Yeah. And uh, Curry had actually paid $5 to answer the question. <laughs> I am a probation and parole officer for sex offenders. There you go. Holy smokes. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Ryan here also sent 6 bucks to say, as one of the final $5.95 a month members, 
I'm giving you a month for your birthday. So he's one of those guys that signed up in 2005. Yes. And uh, is still paying five ninety five because he never stopped subscribing. There so you go. All right. well. I don't know whether to thank him or be upset that he's still paying five ninety five. <laughs> but thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. Anyway, what I was going to say was, there was a. It was many, many, many years ago, but I was watching wrestling, and I suddenly thought to myself, you know what they used to do that they don't do anymore is a body slam. Hmm. I remember when I was a kid watching in the eighties, there were the there was the body slam, but now you never see the body slam. And I, I thought about it like all night. I was driving or something like that, and I was thinking, why the fuck don't people do the body slam anymore? And, uh, and then I went and I watched wrestling the next day, and there was like fifty body slams. You just don't notice them. Because it's not like a move. It's like a setup for a move. I see. Like you body slam somebody, you go up to the top. Yeah, yeah. Or you body slam someone to... Pos- but there's actually body slams everywhere. But it's different because in the 80s, it would be like, oh my God, he's going to body slam Andre the Giant. Right. And they built it up for uh, for 10 years or whatever before it finally happened. So, especially the second half, this thing is all just leg locks and knee bars I'm watching a rings match on a Friday night on TNT, and Punk is fighting to his feet. We get dueling Mongolian chops until finally Punk blocks a strike and takes over. <laughs> Punk. <laughs> so Punk's making a comeback, and both the 2.0 get in the apron, and, they, and, and Garcia bonks into one and then the other. And one of them, I think it was Taz, who said... When he threw when he when Punk threw Garcia into Matt Lee, Taz said, There's Garcia rammed into the square head. And there's some chuckling. And Taz says, Matt Lee's got a square head. Am I wrong? And Jericho says, No, he looks like a thumb. Wow. So Punk well, They're not a, wrong, but I mean <laughs> Punk does a plancha, a big springboard clothesline, and he's not here to go to sleep. He finishes the man off with a pile driver. And an Anacon device. So he's switching up his offense. He has more than one way to beat a man. And he made a point of beating the submission guy with his own submission hold. This I feel excellent. like it's it's not right to make fun of Matt Lee's head when we've got uh, you-know-who in NXT 2.0. There's lots of people with funny heads we can make fun of. Bro, the, the, the brow? There's a brow. What's his name? Von Wagner. Von Wagner. Yes. Yeah. Golly. Unfrozen caveman wrestler, yes. Chimney Christmas. They're making fun of Matt Lee, of all people. As Daniel Garcia needs to get some wins. Uh, just today, he tweeted out that he has not won on Rampage or Dynamite. Um, it's kind of hard to to take him seriously when he doesn't do anything. This was a it was a fun match, but it was you knew who you knew the outcome as soon as well, the belt. probably because I don't think the guy's signed. Is that right? I don't think he signed AEW. I could be wrong. Hmm. He wasn't going to beat CM Punk. I mean, yeah, no, he was not. Nor should he have. Right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.